Welcome to the Sports Web Podcast, episode 37, where we talk about a variety of topics uncensored, unedited, and unfiltered. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just woke up. Uh, well, I've been severely late. I've been busy. I obviously shaved. I don't like it at all. I, I, I'm not part of the wrestling team, and one of those requirements is that you have to shave. You can't, excuse me, you can't have a stubble or even a beard, so I don't, I don't like it at all. I'm very upset. Hopefully this grows back fast enough because I'm going to have to keep cutting it. I've never shaved before. I had to go to the barber and do it. But I guess that's besides the point. It's been about time of this recording will be two weeks. And uh, it's time to do my late but long awaited for me personally. Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. review. Now. Overall, I like this show. I like the whole thing. I watched it live here. Um, hmm. I didn't like how it was basically a concert. Like it was really, it was basically a fight concert fight from rappers I don't even know. I might be just being me not you know listening to rappers like that. But a lot of it's just like kind of a lot of it kind of sucked. Snoop Dogg was good at the end though. It was good. That was good. Um, let's see. The whole card, for the most part, was pretty good. Uh, Badu Jack went against that guy with PTSD, that army guy, and just whooped his ass for eight rounds. But, you know, as expected with Badu Jack, he's a former champion. That guy was just a shit talker. He got his ass whooped. Um, okay. Nate Robinson versus Jake Paul. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, that, uh, I don't even know how, how to start talking about that because it's, there's so many things. It's like, Jake Paul's not even good at boxing. Nate Robinson didn't spar during his camp. He got, he came in there like a street fighter and got his ass whooped by someone who knew how to box, but he's like less than mediocre. Um, oh my god, my phone. Uh, he's less than mediocre, and, and he straight up, all he did was clinch overhand, clinch overhand, clinch overhand, but like, it's, so when you have someone who's just running into your punches, of course it's gonna work, of course it's gonna make you look great, and Snoop Dogg was just clowning the hell out of Nate Robinson. And what's sad about this whole thing about Nate Robinson is that one that was that one that was a scary ass knockout. That was a scary ass knockout because he got he was banged out for real. And I felt I felt really bad. It was a surprise. I was like, holy shit! Uh, but it was I was sad. I was upsetting because people are gonna know him for that. And not for what he, how good he was at basketball, and me being a basketball fan, I, I, I that's what's gonna suck is that they're gonna be like, oh, he, he, you know, they're gonna, but how stupid people are is they're gonna because he's he lost so bad, they want to diminish everything somebody does, like, uh, like they're gonna diminish him as a basketball player because of this knockout, you know, that has no correlation. I've seen it happen before. And what sucks is that Nate Robinson was a phenomenal basketball player. He's just you know not a boxer. He, he didn't he didn't do any um the pressure was working a little bit it was working a little bit but it's just the way the way he came in he came in face up fist like this oh my shoulders um and uh it was like just running in face first and if he couldn't catch him he just held him because he was bigger he just he did he, he fought smart and it was expected of what was going to happen you know uh so i mean then jake just talking just crazy talking about i'm gonna be able to he, he's gonna dedicate he's gonna fight K, he's gonna whoop ksi's ass no he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't ksi would hit him with one of those rockets and his fragile ass nose would be shattered he ain't got a fucking shot. And on top of that, he, he the, the, the fucking cherry on top is that he wants to fight Conor McGregor and says, I could beat Conor McGregor. And I'm like, no, 
You, you can't because it's Conor McGregor. Are you out of your mind? Like, it's Conor McGregor. Like, he'll literally just sit there and just pick you apart within two rounds. Like, he's stupid. But, you know, so he was just talking crazy. He said he's the new Floyd Mayweather and just all that. I just, I can't, I can't take this. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. I don't like him at all. He's an idiot. He's, he's so stupid. He's just talking about, yo, KSI signed the contract and all that stupid dumb shit. The thing is, is that he wants to talk about he's A-side, but he's been begging for a fight. A-side is like, oh, I make all the, I call the shots. That's what that means. You don't, you can't be A-side, but beg for a fight. Sign the contract. There is no contract. There is no, he said immediately there is no contract. And he said there's also something called a pandemic, Jake. And we're gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna wait. I'm going to make sure I have all my concerts done. I'm going to make sure I do all this YouTube shit first. Then I'm going to train harder than ever train to then kick the ever living shit out of you. And I would pay good money to see that. Such good money to see that. Because I don't like it. I don't like I, 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 but like, you know, anyways, uh, it's more unboxing. Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson. Now, this fight was very entertaining. I believe it exceeded expectations. And, uh, and I don't like how people diminished it because of their expectation was so high. Like, um, like I overall, like, I, I thought it was very entertaining. I thought... I didn't think it was a draw, but I didn't really care enough. I was like, I'm okay with that because I wanted to be like do to do that to like diminish their like their legacies or whatever. But I personally believe uh, the eight round fight, he Mike Tyson won six of the eight. Uh, Roy Jones won two um, when he let the hands go in the fifth or sixth or whatever. Uh, I thought it was very entertaining. Uh, both of them showed, Mike Tyson showed that he still got that power and that, that speed with that, those hooks. And Roy, Roy actually looked like he has faster hands than about 90% of the boxers today, still at 51. So I thought it was a real great fight. Uh, the fact that people are kind of like trashing him when they look like two old, like old uncles fighting him, like, well, no, it looked like two Hall of Fame boxers fighting. Like, you go at and they keep criticizing it, like, it wasn't that good. It was boring. And I'm like, no. I mean, you're if you're expecting Iron Mike Tyson, the animal, from 20, from that 15, 25 years ago, then, and, and Roy Jones, when he won the heavyweight, middleweight, like, heavyweight and super light, in like, and super light heavyweight titles, then that's on you. Your, your, your expectations were, were expecting two prime fighters, and they are not in their prime. They're retired. So I mean, if you if you're expecting that, then I'm not. Then 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 that's completely on you. And every, they always they, people were like, oh, you know, it was it was a boring fight. And I'm like, man, again, if you don't, they didn't appreciate boxing the way it, it was meant to be appreciated. Uh, and uh, it was like, it was like, yeah, I mean, they don't appreciate the real art of it. Of how Mike Tyson, how he lost a hundred fucking pounds, and, and to look like that, and, and you hear him speak now. Like, I listen to the I listen to the post uh, interviews, the post like the post like a uh, fight like press conference. Roy Jones and Mike Tyson, more more than Mike Tyson, he's in such a more. You listen to him back then; he was always a peaceful guy, but he's in such a happy moment in his in, in his mind in his life. That I, I really do appreciate him coming back and I appreciate everything that's happening because of that fact of he's coming back and now he's just happier and he's boxing. He didn't really care about the result. He was just like, you know, I I uh, I love this. So he said, I, I was meant to be here. And it was so funny uh, after the fight, like right after like, the pro fight interview, they were talking about how Roy Jones, are you having you survive? And he was just like, what do you, and Mike, and Mike Tyson was just like, what do you mean? Everybody worried about his ass. He fought three years ago. I fought, and I'm fought in damn near 20. Why nobody worry about me? And the interviewer was like, well, no one's expecting the giant to fall because he's a heavyweight. He's Mike Tyson. He's just like, I'm not a giant. I'm a beginner. He's fought three years ago. I fought 15. <laughs> 
And he's just talking about, in general, about how he's just happier. And he's just talking about how peace he is with, it, with himself. And it's really good to see. And I'm happy he's found that, you know, because he's been through hell. And he's come, come, like, he's come back from such hard times. And he, the fact that he's found that level of peace in himself, that hell of happiness, I, I, I'm all for it. And I tip my half to him because he's a fucking inspiration to, to whatever the hell. Um, Roy Jones, you know, he's very honest about his success. He said, I thought I won. And he was just like, everything hurts. <laughs> and what's so scary was that Roy was like, he got in shape. They're both in shape. But Mike Tyson was smoking weed every day. Granted, he was training a little bit longer for fighting back, but he was smoking weed every day. He smoked before the fight, and he was like, and he came out fresher than Roy Jones Jr. So I respect, uh, I respect them both. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would love to see that uh, and Mike Tyson fight again. He said he's going to. I want to. The only thing is that it's going to be like Evander keeps begging for that fight. Here's Mike. God damn, my funky twin. Um, here's my thing. Evander, I don't know if Evander actually wants to really fight again, or if he just wants to fight Tyson again. I think oh, he wants to get him back for, what, for the ear bite in 1997. Because I'm, I'm scared of that. Because here's the thing. Mike Tyson was talking about his mindset going into a fight. He was talking about how his mindset is that he's, a, he's something grand. He's a gladiator. He's this, is whatever. And, um... It was like, and Evander, it sounds like he's coming from a place of bitterness. It's also coming from a place that he just wants to, like, he wants to beat him up. And he wants to beat him up badly. He doesn't really want to fight. That, again, he wants to fight him. And, and, uh, and um, it's just that I, I feel like Mike Tyson's in such a happy place at the moment. I'm scared that he would take that that a fight with them, though I'd love to see it. First of all, Evander would fucking lose. Let's get that out of the way. Evander would get smashed in the face repeatedly. If he especially if he pulled the shit that made Mike Tyson bite him was when he kept he lowered his head and he's bald and he kept driving it to his forehead. So if he pulls that again. Mike Tyson will happily oblige to whoop his ass. And uh, and it's just not going to be a fun night. And I don't think that a, a fight like that, though I would love to see it. I don't, I don't think, I don't think that it would be good. And I just don't feel like it would be good for these good. It wouldn't be good for them. Good for his mental health. But you know, it's more so like the, I guess his manager, manager, his managers and his team are not handling it right because Mike Tyson has no problem fighting him. Uh, and it was like sorry, Alan is texting me. Uh, but like, but like, it was like straight up just, I don't feel like it's necessary. Two, I don't feel like it would be good for us. I feel, I feel for him. And I feel like if he wants to, I think he wants to make an example out of him. I think he wants to like, and he keeps begging for that fight. And I don't think he really wants to fight again. I, and I was talking to uh, Derek who was on this podcast, like, oh. 20 something episodes ago and he was saying like if he really wants to come back because he has the same thought process about that he's just like he wants to make an example out of him he doesn't really want to fight again if he really wants to fight make him fight roy or something like that to see if he really wants to fight him and my only concern with that is if he fought someone else like roy he i think he would try to make an example out of him to then get to mike tyson and i don't know it's just a it's a very hard thing because I would the best believe if that fight happens, I want Mike Tyson to knock him out in absolutely devastating fashion for what he did back in those years. But again, I, I feel like Mike Tyson is fighting for the love of the game and not for anything else, not for himself and for humanitarian purposes, not for himself, not for his ego, not for any belt, not for any achievements. He's fighting because he like he's where he feels like he belongs, and I respect that. Um.
Who I think he'll fight next? I believe a, a fight with Evander makes the most sense. Uh, and went ahead, but to go ahead with that fight, I think would be very dangerous. But again, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, because he wants to continue to fight. Community train and all that, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, a recent fight that got announced. I don't even know how people are gonna take this serious. Logan Paul, Jake's Paul's brother, and Floyd Mayweather. It's gonna be a I'm pretty sure it's an exhibition. It's happening in February. I don't even know how this fight came came like. What? Like, what? Like, I don't understand how people are like, oh, Floyd's going to struggle against a YouTuber. And I'm like, oh, my God, because he's 6'1". He's fought a 6'1 guy before. His 17th fight, he fought a guy that was 6'1 and a half, almost 6'2". Wait, no, Logan's 6'2". What the? Anyways, there's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He could be 7 foot and he'd still beat him. Because it's Floyd Mayweather! Like, I don't, there's no way he's beating him. There's no way he's beating him. There's no, there's no way. There's no way. And I don't know how he's going to beat him. I just know he's going to beat him with the best leg. He's going to, he could outpoint him. He could do what he did to Conor McGregor, which was let him punch himself out. But then again, that was a real fight. It wasn't an eight-round exhibition. You know, if it was an exhibition, so he might go out and bang him out, like, off the gate. But I don't know. Uh, we'll have to, I'll have to see, but, uh, I don't. I just, I, obviously, Floyd's going to dominate and win that fight, but I mean, other than that, for an easy paycheck, sure. Go ahead and have a part two. Another boxing fight that's happening really soon is Anthony Joshua is defending his titles against Kubrat Pulev. Um, I don't see how Kubrat's going to win that fight because I don't I didn't know much about him. I had to look up some highlights about him the other night. Their, their final weigh in happened. Uh, I don't know if it's happening this week. I don't know if I have to look at the date again. Uh, but this is like, I guess, to hype up the um, the Anthony, the possible Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury fight, which, again, of course, I've already talked about the numerous occasions Tyson Fury would pick him apart and dominate him in any way he wanted to. But uh, and. Uh, And, sorry, I'm reading something. Um, and uh, after looking at Kubrat, I don't, I don't see anything that could really beat Joshua. I really don't. For I mean, one, his stance doesn't cover his face. It's like this. And when you can't move, and he doesn't move, have head movements. When you're standing here stiff, like this, and Joshua's just gonna throw straight punches down the middle and just knock him out. I give him, I give him four rounds. To knock out Kublot. Uh If Kublot beats him, oh boy. A Joshua Tyson Fury fight will never happen. It will never happen because Tyson Fury will just be due to prove that these lesser fighters are beating Anthony Joshua. Andy Ruiz already beat him. He's not gonna. He's not. Like, like if he if he loses the Kublot. There will never be a Tyson Fury fight. Never. And it suck because British boxing and boxing in general needs that because uh, Dana White, the president of the UFC, was talking about this whole thing with Floyd. And it shows you, and, and uh, Logan Paul, it shows you the state of boxing. It shows you how, like, they're just, they, I don't know. Mike Tyson, you're going to have to fucking revive boxing for us, all right? Look, you're going to have to fucking revive boxing. Uh, I love the fight, like, but, like, um, I give it Joshua four rounds, four or five rounds. He'll, he'll knock him out. It may be sooner. I won't be surprised if it's sooner. But because uh, he fought, well, what is that? Why well, he fought Kublot fought Vladimir Klitschko, a guy who Anthony Joshua knocked out. But it was a competitive fight. Like Vladimir, he hit him hard, and he got he he had a, he knocked him down. He was like he clipped him hard. He just sat his ass down. I was like, ooh, got him. Uh, but then he was able to knock him out. Um. 
he fought against Klitschko, and Klitschko, like, knocked him out. And, like, he knocked him down, like, in the first eight seconds. But, like, he knocked him out within five rounds. So, I'll give Joshua about that same time. Because Klitschko has more of a, of a reserved fighting style. But... Kublai, but, but AJ is more of a I'm going to come and knock you out unless he fights like how he fought. Uh, Andrew is the second time, which was by points, which I think that's what he's going to do, which is going to suck because we loved him for knocking out everybody the way he dominated. He knocked out everybody because he's kind of, he came in really light. Three pounds heavier than the lightest he's ever been, but still. I I I don't I just don't see him winning. I don't see Kublai winning. One thing I, I I see that's good about Kublai is that he always he's always throwing. He's always throwing punches, even when he's like clenched up or whenever he's like he's always punching. He's always punching. So I mean, that's about his only good shot. But other than that, I see Joshua knocking him out and then him calling out Tyson Fury again and then Tyson Fury accepting the fight and being like, yeah, for Tyson Fury this issue and Deontay Wilder. I'm not even gonna talk about him. He's just. Just acting like a bitch, pretty much. He's just acting annoying. He's just... And, and I don't know. But, you know, overall, I, 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 I'm excited to see what the future holds for boxing. Would I pay money to watch Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul? I don't know. Because the only fights I've seen Floyd Mayweather fight live have been the really big ones. There's been the... There was a Manny Pacquiao Floyd May Mayweather fight. I, I went to a party. I don't know how old I was when I was at... Yeah, we went to a, I went to a party with my dad and we watched it. Yeah. And then... I think I was with my dad again. I think at the same party? The same people who threw it again. And there was a Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight. And I love Conor McGregor. I love him. I love him. I love him. I just, I just knew. I knew it down in my mind that, with no doubt in my mind, that he was going to lose that fight. But he went 10 rounds with him. So I do respect that. Um, so... I'll, I'll see. I'll see what the hell, I'll see what the hell that 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 brings. Uh, and like all of a sudden, it's like now. What I I don't know if I would pay to see that fight because it's just he could do what he he could flick do what he did to that Asian dude. He just just a one round demo demolition. A demolition of 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 him, but sorry, my AJ keep Alan keeps talking, texting me about some some shit, but uh, you know, we we shall see, we shall see. I don't know. I don't see myself paying money to see that. I I would. Probably go somewhere to watch it, but maybe I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see how, how the training looks because uh, if he comes out, if, if Logan Paul comes out like he came against KSI, he's fucked. Oh, he's so fucked. He's so fucked. Um, man, he was just like, oh my god, I'm finally the greatest fighter on the planet. And I'm like, yeah, and you're gonna get fucking a pay. You're gonna get a payday. That's literally he's fighting for a payday. He isn't fighting to win. You can't confidently tell me he's fighting for a win. If he said he's fighting for a win, I don't believe him. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but boxing, you know, it's very interesting right now. It's very interesting. Um... It's a very interesting place right at the moment. YouTubers are reviving it, and that's good. But at the same time, uh, at the same time, it's just like 
I don't know. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't pay for it, but I would be very interesting to see. I, I'd be very interesting to see. It's happening February. And then eight, but but if a Tyson Fury AJ Anthony Joshua fight gets made, I'm watching that. I'm watching. I'm watching that. I'm watching that. I'm watching that. I'm watching that. I'm watching that live. And if I could, if I would have been. And if I was old enough and had enough money, I would pay to go there live and see it. Because, oh my God, I love Tyson Fury. I love Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, I believe, is the greatest boxer, you know, alive right now. He's certainly the best heavyweight right now. He, he's the lineal heavyweight champion. He's, hold every, he's held every belt except um, the ring magazine. I don't know if there's, if there's a ring magazine for heavyweight. I'm pretty sure there is, but he's held every title he's wanted to hold. He dominated Vladimir Klitschko. He dominated Deontay Wilder. And now he has a chance to win back the belts and unify the heavyweight division. <laughs> I don't see AJ beating him. I don't. I, they're going to say, they keep saying AJ's going to beat him or he has the best shot. I mean, he has the best shot. He doesn't have a fucking, he doesn't, he isn't going to beat him though because I don't think AJ's going to try to knock him out. I don't think he'll try to knock him out. I think he'll try to outbox him. And if he tries to outbox Tyson, he's fucked. He's not going to get him to outbox him. He's not going to be able to outbox him because it's Tyson fucking Fury. And Tyson Fury's been outboxing people since the beginning. He recently started, started outboxing people because he... he you know, he recently outboxed people because... He recently like tried to only knock out Tyson. Like, did a whole change in fighting style to knock out somebody who's Deontay Wilder because he couldn't fight backwards. Which was, again, showing how he can outbox people because he switched up the game plan like that. Um, but... Uh, I don't think... I don't think AJ would ever beat him. I keep saying that. I believe Tyson Perry will, 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 will win. I believe he will unify the heavyweight division. And I believe he will stay heavyweight champion until he's either stripped of the titles or he retires. And most likely they're going to strip him or whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Because the fucking boxing is a mafia. And that's a whole nother discussion. You know, Nevada Athletic Commission, all of this. Fucking, they're just a mafia. They're just fucking thugs. So the most of them are thugs. But yeah, no. Um, Dave Chappelle. A lot of people don't know, but Dave Chappelle was uh, had a. This was a couple again. I'm, I'm very late to some of these, but I, I, I mean, I've seen it, but I, I haven't talked about it. You know, so I mean, I say I'm late. Dave Chappelle did a comedy special. I did do a special day comedy show where he talked about how how him falling apart against this show, the Chappelle show. The Chappelle show was something that he made. It talked about how. He was like how he was poor and his 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 career through his career of with with comedy his career how it led to the Chappelle show and how what how he felt when he left the show and they scrutinized him and called him crazy and all that stuff and he basically was just like they they you know after HBO and them said we don't why do we need your show for they're now airing their show. And he isn't getting paid for it because he left the show. So he is now saying. He's now saying. Don't watch the Chappelle show because I until they pay me. Because uh, there's nothing he can do because he signed a contract and all and all that other shit. I, I encourage you guys to go watch it. It's a 15 minute video on his Instagram and it's it's some serious. It's some real, it's some real honest stuff. And uh Personally, I was never gonna watch the Chappelle show because he was he worked for Netflix and Netflix took it off at his request and paid him, which is Netflix was so that he really cared about him. HBO is very crooked, so I mean, so I mean, it, it's it's a very interesting topic. I I personally believe that he should he it's legal what they're doing because he made him sign a contract. Uh. And, but, I believe that they should pay him for that show if they're going to use it. Because a while ago, he pitched that idea, that same show idea, to them. And they said, what the hell do we need you for? And kicked him out. Now, 
they're using his show. So, the legalities of it is saying there's nothing you could do, and they're in, in complete, like, legal binding. They're legally okay to do that. Just they should pay him. And he's just saying, don't watch the post show until they pay me. Which, I mean, that's a good part of doing it, because he didn't say boy, boycott the boycott the um the network because you get sued he's saying don't boycott the network boycott me don't watch my show uh, so we'll we shall we shall see we shall see how that goes I hope I hope he gets paid I hope he I hope he um I hope he I hope he uh, gets his money I hope he Finds peace in that. I hope he gets what he needs and what he deserves. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this little pet peeve I had real quick. The this new wave of self entitlement in my generation, in my lifetime, with people I know. And I'm calling out everybody I know here because this is some real shit. What is it with people? Not understanding that the phone works both ways. Look, it's always been my reality that I've always been someone who's never been talked to. I've always had to initiate conversations. It's been the story of my life. I had no problem with it. Uh, uh, it was just the nature. I have accepted that truth. This isn't me bitching. It's just what it is. What I don't like is how... It's sad how have I stopped texting half the people I text right now, almost all of them. They would never text me. I did the experiment. There's this girl that I was talking to. Black girl. She'll never see this. She'll never see this. If she did, I don't care. We were... We were dating. We, we, we were supposedly, like, you know supposedly together after we had this big argument because she wanted to go through my phone and I told her no because it's my phone and I'm not going to ever give you my password because it's my phone. She thought she'd call me weird. I didn't really give a shit, but then she got upset and all that. Whatever. Then I tested it. I did an experiment. I said, oh, okay. Since I always text her first, I'm going to wait to see if she's ever going to text me first. We, this went off about two weeks, two, three weeks. I completely forgotten about this experiment. So I posted something on my story and I said, it was like, I said, he's sorry. Uh, I'm looking for the content right now. It was like, And it, it, oh, sorry. I keep looking for it. One, give me one second. I'm looking for it. All right, all right. I found it. Sorry, I, you you never know. You don't know how long that took. Like four, five, ten minutes. Like, all right. So I posted. I said, swipe up on my Snapchat if you want my number to talk more. I message games, whatever. Because I finally got this iPhone, and I'm like, okay, I want to talk to people. I want to be one of the cool kids. You know, the usual. So she swipes up like two weeks, two to three weeks. Oh, wait, no, there's a conversation before this. This is why I said in the previous one, we were creating an insecure generation of women, prim generation, primarily women. But also guys too. Let me, let me just 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 let me just read this. I swear I texted. I always did this. I used to used to do this. Nothing new. I said, "Who trying to hang out sometime soon?" This is before she. We didn't talk for like two weeks. She swipes up and says, "I hope it's not any girls." He's like, "Obviously not. Uh, obviously not." Lol. Uh, it's just like uh, she's a like, good. I think you should make that clear. First of all, motherfucker. I'm gonna hang out with girls. I'm sorry. It's it's with guys and girls. My friend group it has mixed people. I'm not gonna fucking not do that. Cause guess what? In my 
friends. I don't care because you're insecure. Anyways, I think they were there. I think they were there. We're not gonna call her out like that. <laughs> We're not gonna call her out like that. We're not gonna call her out like that. Yeah, worry, all right. Don't worry about it. She said, I think you should make that clear. I was like, oh, like what do you mean? I'm like, never mind, it's just say it. It's like, like on your story. I'm like, yep. Yeah. And she's like, you know, me hanging out with someone of the opposite gender means I don't like you, right? Like, you know, that does not that does not equate to cheating. Like, this is how insecure these people are. It's like, people, not just women. Like, okay, like, And she's like, you know, and she's like, yeah, I know, but I'm the jealous type and anything could happen. Like, yeah, anything could happen. Like, the, like, God could strike us both with lightning. What? Yeah, sure, whatever. And it's just like, you're adorable. Don't worry, nothing would ever happen. And she put it, like, three dots. It was like, what? It was like, just nothing. Like, Why don't you trust me? Like, it's not that, what is it? I know things go, I know how things go when it's a boy or a girl alone. Yes, we talk about politics. Hinting at the time, me and Megan, shout out to her. We talked about politics uh, at one time. I like, shake my head. I'm just like, what's wrong with that? I'm like, what's wrong with that? Uh, like, and I, was, I said, no, she's like, shake my head. I'm like, what's wrong with this? Just leave me alone, please. I said, okay. I left her alone. Two days go by. November 19th, she texts me. So are we done? What do you mean? Like, broken up? I mean, I didn't break up with you. I mean, did, I mean, I said, I didn't break up with you. Did you? He's like, no, but dot, dot, dot. And I was like, I, was like, I fucking hate me. He's like, no, but. But what? Nigga, like. <laughs> this is like, but. He's like, we haven't talked in almost two days and you posted some girls. I feel like you're cheating. <laughs> if she ever sees this, she's going to kill She's going to kill me, but I don't care. Well, anyways, <laughs> I don't think she even has Instagram, but you know, it's fine. It, I don't think she finds this. It, it, you know, it's good. After, I don't think she'll make it that far because ah, I got some. I told some stuff on here, boys. I told some stuff on here, boys. <laughs> All right. And it's just like, well, we haven't talked in almost two days, and you posted some girl that like you're cheating. So one, I haven't texted anyone these past two days. I've been busy, which was true. I was busy because I was wrestling, and I got tired because I was exhausted because I've been wrestling four days a week. Because practice has been kicking my ass, and two, I've not made videos on my friends. I ain't cheating. I mean, I'm like, she's like, I post. She's talking about when I posted, like, like if you follow my Instagram. Oh my fucking eye! Oh, sorry, my eye. Ah. Anyways, it was when I posted a, a, a collage of my friends, and there was females in there. Cause you know, I don't have strictly male friends. I female friends too, because I'm normal and I don't discriminate. Cause I'm not stupid. Um. And she was like, mm hmm. Ah! She black, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, you just see her. She just hurt my brain. She just hurts my brain. Anyways, uh, she's like, it was like, did you not see the first video? And she's like, I did, but still, still what? Nothing, just nothing. I just wish you a better boyfriend. Woo! This the, I'll tell you what, in the history of my 16 year existence, I have never been told to be a better boyfriend because I have been too good as what I've been told by all these people. This is the first. I really don't give a damn anymore. I really don't care anymore. This is why I don't care anymore. I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Because she's like, like, uh, like, I stopped caring when we had that big ass argument and stuff over, like, stuff. And it was just like, you know, it was like, oh, uh, just, oh my. God. Yeah. First time ever in my, sorry, my mother called out. Dude, you'll probably not see that pause, but there was a pause and my mom called. Um, She said, she said, how could I? She said, I wish you were a better boyfriend. Never have been told that. That's the first for everything, boys. I don't care. I stopped caring again. Like I said, I stopped caring after the whole argument we had where she was just like, I'm so don't want to break up with you. Like, why? Because I want you to go through my phone? Because it's my phone? Like, what? Like, it's my phone? Like, what did you say? Like, come on. Like, so that happened. And it's just like how I asked her, how could I be better? Because I'm entertaining this shit because I'm stupid. <laughs> She's like, don't post other girls. Text me every day. Post me more without having to ask. Just... Mm -hmm. I said, I said, okay, I said, okay. One, I don't post girls that way. Like I don't, I don't, I don't do women course Wednesdays. I don't do that shit. I don't, I don't do that shit. I do it sometimes. I do it when I had when I had a girl who wanted that. I do, I do, do that. She never texts me. 
So I don't do it. All right. She's like, two, you told me to leave me alone. So yeah, for that moment, when a girl says, when a girl says leave them alone, that means that means text them more. Duh. She's educating me about the female lingo. Like I don't know how confusing y'all people are. Like yes, I know what it means. I'm fine. I'm just fine. Just like, I'm okay. I'm just it. It is what it is. I don't care. It means the complete opposite. I'm not dumb. I know of this. I knew of this lingo before you knew of this lingo, woman. <laughs> I knew who you were before you knew who you were. <laughs> That's so to arrogant stick. I don't even care. That's funny as hell. Anyways, uh, it's just like yeah, but you a little different. Uh, you a bit, you a bit different, girl. That's why I said that. I said that. She's like, I'm not. Most girls, I most girls' languages. Most girl, most of all girls. Language means the same. This is the same girl who says all girls go through their boyfriend's phone because they're broken and they. I don't get. Here's the problem. I don't kick the shit out of her. That's the. <laughs> this is the problem. The problem is this. I'm not one of these guys who kick the shit out of her. That's her problem. I don't. I'm too nice to all these females. This is why every relationship was ended for me. I've been too good. Apparently, apparently, I've been too good. All right. So all these females really need to leave. I'm just like, okay, more power to you. You know, you, you guy, respect the relationship, but I'm being me, the nice guy. I apparently just like kicking the shit out of females, and, and they apparently don't love me. You know, I, <laughs> I'm never gonna do that, but I just, that's how it's looking. This girl gets abused. I'm not gonna say her name, but you know, if she ever see this, she know who she is. I don't think she'll ever see it, because I, I don't even know she has to answer that. Uh, but we'll see. So she's like, oh, okay. She so so I guess I guess I just don't kick the shit out of her enough. So that I my love and passion for her. Even though she's like 52 minutes away, but like even still, I don't tell her she's a bitch like all the time because I'm not stupid and I respect people. Uh anyway, she said she says she's like, I know and I was just like, alright, I know, but still anything else I can work on? She's like, I think it was just like, I think that's it. She's like, think alright, I'll work on it. I know I'm good. I know I'm good. Listen to me. I know I'm good. I know. Get really close. I know I'm good. I know I'm good. Don't worry about. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about her opinion on it at all. And I was just like, all right, I'll work on it. She said, thank you. It is high. She then proceeded to not text me for we didn't we didn't text for two weeks. That's why I did my social experiment. I forgot. I was at school. Uh, this past Wednesday. Yeah, this past ah oh, my eye. Oh, this past Wednesday, I was at school in business class, chilling, you know, with my B, you know, chilling with free period because I completed all my work. And I, of course, I posted the story where it was like, you know, so you want my number? She didn't swapped up. Like, so are we done? And I'm like, I was waiting to see how long you would take you to text me, lol. And she's like, I was waiting for you to text me. And I just laid on the truth of her. I'm like, look. I always do that with everyone. People for people forget that the phone works both ways, which it does. People, the phone works both ways. All right, I didn't block you. Call, text. This is for anyone in general, not just me. It's how it works. And it's just like people forget that the phone works both ways. This isn't just used almost all my friends, which is true. This is absolutely true. It's absolutely true. Um, almost all my friends, if not all of them, don't text me. I have to text them first, you know, to initiate a conversation. If I don't talk, they don't text them first. It's like we never were friends. It's just one well, of the reality of the situation. Uh, and it's not like, oh, you know, I'm guilty. You know, I'm just so lonely. I just, like, missed it so much. Yeah. Like, no, no, none of that shit. Just keeping it real. Guys, text your friends in general, not just me. I don't give a shit you don't do it to me. Fix it with other people. Because guess what? You're going to lose a lot of relationships in general because you don't text people. All right? So, it was just like, I was just like, yeah. This isn't just use almost all my friends. If you want to talk, talk to me, just call or text me. I used to do it sometimes too, but you seem like you don't even care about this relationship or relationship we had. I'm an asshole, but I don't care. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> it's like, I do care. It was like, so I guess it's over. I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to see if you could put the effort that I put it in. I put it in because I don't want to make it up. I'm capping my ass off. I'm just like, I don't give a shit, woman. Like, ah! So it's just like, you have hella people to talk to. I'm like, who, 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 who? Let me turn to an owl. Because she was like, 
you should just go talk to them. And I'm like, my phone's been dry in the Sahara Desert in the summer. I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, your snap course. You're, with that snap score, I don't think so. But so it's, that's cool. You do you. Which is a typical black female response. That, ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to. It's not. It's not you're going to think I hate black women. And I don't. Oh, my God. My eye. This is God punishing me for this conversation. Oh, anyways. Um... But you do you. I was just, I'm going to pay attention to the snap, snap scores. Let me, just, let me just look. Her snap score is now not loading. Okay, here it is. It's like almost 8,000. Mine is 70,000, but I don't talk to anybody. She's acting like I have 5 million, like some of my friends who do have 5 million, which is ridiculous. Do so they have this app the inception? All right. I don't even do stuff like that. I was just like, I don't even pay attention. I don't even pay attention to snap, snap scores. I don't do streaks. I don't do streaks. I have a streak that's 104 right now. By accident. I don't pay attention to that shit. I don't try to maintain it. I'm just like, oh, we text this person through the pictures. It's what it is. All right. And I was like, so I don't know what you mean. She's like, of course, you never understand or whatever. I was like, how about you just, I mean, just explain to me. Just stop getting pissed. Oh my God, my eye. You know, we're going to do this one eye for the rest of the fucking thing. Sure. So we got like 14 minutes. Sure. Um, she's like, I'm just pissed at the fact we went this, we went this long without talking. And I was like, again, the phone work, works both ways. You could have called me. You could have texted me. She's like, she's like, you could have done the same. She's like, I always did it. Always. You did it once. That was it. I was like, that's cap. And I'm like, whoo! Whoo! Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you have head, first of all, headphone users, I apologize, by the way, because I am probably destroying y'all eardrums and we give, have to give y'all reconstructional surgery. But anyways, oh my God, dust. All right. I was like, I'm sick of having the, in the, in the initiates. I put intimates, the intimate stuff. I meant to put initiate. But whatever, autocorrect fucked me over. But you know, she got the point. Uh, I'm sick of having to initiate stuff with people all the time, which is true. I was like, you know, I was just like, I always talk conversation. You want to talk to me? Come talk to me. If you really care that much, you would talk to me. That's simple. I might block you. She's like, you did a lot, yes, but not always. He's like, you wanted to talk to me as bad as you're sounding like you could have hit me up first. And it hurts that you blame me. It didn't hurt, but to drive the point home. Like, you know, it hurt the fact that you blame me because you didn't want to text me. Because you didn't want to text me. You want to text me. <laughs> oh, my days. So I was like, I'm not blaming you for shit. I'm tired of, of you acting like you know everything. I'm telling like you're the smartest thing alive. I've always been disagreeing with people. Never, and, and people, you never get upset. Like, the fuck? It's okay that feelings, you know. Here we go again. Here we go again, 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 again. Another person, you know. It's this. This some aspects of this are probably true. Okay, I just I troll a lot. I'm gonna keep it real. I do. I do troll a lot. I troll a lot, which is why it comes off as arrogant and assholeish. That I troll a lot. Like this right now, coming up arrogant as shit. Like I'm not gonna lie. There's gonna be some. And this got this blew up, and a lot of people saw it. They would have thought I was an arrogant asshole without saying anything. Else. That's, that's the only thing they saw me. They would thought I'm an arrogant asshole. I promise you, I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. I, like, I promise you, I'm not. All right. So let's let's just let's just analyze this parallel. All right, this small statement. I'm tired of you acting like you know everything. I don't. All right, and you're, like, and you're like the smartest thing alive. I again, we don't talk about much things that are intellectual, so I don't know where she got that from, but okay. Uh, and she's like, and you always want to disagree with people. Only people who are wrong, so <laughs> I should have texted that just to troll and be like, only people who are wrong, so just don't be wrong and I won't disagree with you. <laughs> just don't be wrong. That, that, that would make her send her over the edge. I just didn't want to do it. I was just like, nah, it's not worth it. I just be like, just how about you just don't be wrong and I won't disagree with you. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> oh she she was like and you never get upset like the fuck like okay I don't I did I, I'm surprised this is actually issue you know a lot of niggas are very surprised that I don't get upset like it's very sur like it shocks about my level of patience with people because I'm an idiot sometimes sometimes oh my god my eye sorry his spies just leaking like I'm crying with that. <laughs> anyways, because I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> no, anyways, I'm so weird. Um, it was like 
she, she, I, guess, I guess I didn't know that was a problem because I told her, so I never get upset, I never get angry. She was like, I don't believe you. I'm like, are you okay? Because even when she was yelling at me, at, like in her anger, I was just like, uh huh. They're not taking it serious, just being like, okay, that's crazy. Like, that's bonkers, my guy. That's absolutely positively wild in my in my in the yes that's wiggity whack yo like <laughs> like oh and so she was just like so I guess, I guess she's never i've never she's never seen me get angry a lot of people seen me get angry when and this is another thing that apparently the females don't like the niggas don't get pissed at you for no reason if i don't want to kick the shit out of you almost 24 7 i mean it's just like my our previous relationship that ended was because I was too nice and she wasn't used to me complimenting her all the time. Tell her I loved her. Tell her that. And I was just like, huh. So because I wasn't like the guys you left and the shitty people in your family and they call you a bitch because you didn't answer the phone fast enough, the relationship ends. Ah, yes. The floor is made out of the floor. Indeed. <laughs> all right. So anyways, after that, I said that she just hits the... This emoji, she's like, if you want to start talking more, hit me up too. I'll do, uh, I'll do the same. But if not, just block me. I'll tell you what's just funny at the end. I got like, I have to speed this up. I was like, okay, so I was just like, okay, so are we together? So I want you to make a decision. What do you want? No, what do you want? I'm always tired of having to make decisions and things with people. I always have to choose. The reason I, I ask you is I don't want to trap you to something that you don't want to be in. So I'm asking you if you want to be with me. That's the same reason why I'm asking you. I have to choose with everyone with. Everything I hate making choices because you're indecisive. I was gonna get make a joke, but I'm not going to because I'm not stupid. I'm not trying to get canceled because <laughs> I'm smart. Anyways, uh, she was like, "But that's the part of the relationship and part of life that I want to be with you, but I'm not gonna force you to be with me." Are you sure you would be like a hundred, hundred ten percent? I was just like, "Yeah, okay." And she was like, "M, M, K, 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 K." That's that no, I'm just not even gonna say it. Not even gonna say it. Do you? I do. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? School work and all that. And that's how it just it just trickled down. You know, and it's so hilarious because after a small conversation, uh, that was of the nineteenth. When, when when did this conversation happen? When did this conversation? Let me just let me go back to the last time we talked. When was the last time we talked? Um, I hate that it doesn't tell you dates or you sorry. It's it was the same day. It was the same day. This was Wednesday. And we agreed upon texting each other more. And guess what? She hasn't texted me first. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is a woman. <laughs> now, obviously, not all women are like that. I'm talking chat and shit. Obviously, not all women are like that. But the damaged ones, holy shit. Just say it. Never had this problem with any other racial person. If it's all good, I'm just like, that's a whole story of another day. It's a story of another day. It's a story of another day. I never had this problem with another racial person. All right. All right. I've never had an argument where a Mexican girl who was damaged or a white girl who was damaged or just a girl in general of any other race that had an argument with me about My phone and going through it. I've never had that problem. Never had that problem. It's just like I don't want to go through my phone. Guess what? I respect your privacy too. I don't want to go through your phone. Because guess what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. And I, and I want to make that clear. I wasn't like. I wasn't saying like let me go through your phone. You can't go through mine. I was saying I was like I don't want to go through your phone because it's your phone and that's yours. Just like I don't want you going through mine. Our devices to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and I just, I get, I get, I don't know, I'm just saying, I've never, never dealt with that problem. Anyways, anyways, what was the point of that whole story? I don't know. Just, just, just know, don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a jackass like me sometimes and initiate conversation. All right. Don't sit here waiting. I'm just going to wait for him to text me and then. Because guys do that a lot. Guys will test because they always have to initiate conversation first because they always have to make a lot of choices. They always have to chase. Do the chase because that's just the way it is, I guess. Um, so, females, if your things are going really well and all of a sudden he just stops texting out the blue and he hasn't blocked you, he's testing to see if you actually care enough to text him first. So how about for once, go out there 
and talk to them. It's that simple. We're not that complicated. It is a very simple solution to a very simple problem that in all honesty doesn't really need to exist. That's it. Thank you all for watching uh, another episode. We'll try to push more of these out more consistently. Uh, wrestling's just been kicking my ass, but winter break is coming up soon, so that'll be very interesting. I may be in Florida for one of them. I'll probably let know the schedule out soon. Uh, stay safe. Love y'all. Bye-bye.